Dr. G here. Thanks for watching this short video. Today I'm discussing the difference between sciatica and cauda equina syndrome. Now let's start off with sciatica. As most of you know, sciatica is a compression of the sciatic nerve, either in the lower back or the pelvis region, where you feel sharp pain, not only in that area, but also pain traveling down the leg. And you can also feel sensations such as numbness and tingling going down that leg. Now cauda equina syndrome is a more serious condition where you have very similar symptoms. However, you have some others that can tell you that it's actually a medical emergency. Now let's talk about cauda equina syndrome in more detail. First, let me talk about the anatomy so you can understand how it works. And over here, I have a model of the spine. This is the front of the spine. This would be the back of the spine. Now inside the, the, the vertebras in here, inside the bones, we have the spinal cord. And the reason it needs all this protection is because the nervous system, it's probably the most important system in your body. So if we look at the drawing here in the blackboard, this is the drawing of the spinal cord. Inside the vertebras here, it is bundled up, and at the end over here, at around the level of the second vertebra, L2, then we have a bunch of nerves that are being dispersed, and it looks like a horse's tail, which is what cauda equina is Latin for. Now what can happen with cauda equina syndrome is that you can have a herniated disc that's very severe that can put pressure on these nerves over here, and these nerves control the area of the pelvis and the legs, so you can have loss of bowel and bladder function and also extreme numbness going down the legs and sometimes you may have extreme paralysis going down the legs. So this is why it's considered a, mer a medical emergency because if you don't take care of it very soon, I would say within 24 to 48 hours from the onset of symptoms, then you can have permanent nerve damage. So some of the symptoms you want to look for for cauda equina syndrome, like I said earlier, it's loss of bladder and bowel function. You either have uh, incontinence, which means you can't control your bladder or your bowels, you either defecate yourself or you urinate yourself, or you can have retention, where you actually can't push out urine or you can't push out any feces. So that's one area that you want to look for. Another one you want to look for is what's called saddle anesthesia. And basically what that means is you have a lot of numbness in the inner thighs, in the genital area, and in the anal region as well. So those two things are, are major red flags you want to look for. As I stated, this is a medical emergency, so you need to go to the emergency room. And usually what they do is they have emergency surgery to take pressure off the cauda equina. Now, if you don't have that and you only have sciatica, that's a good sign. So I hope you have a better understanding now of the difference between sciatica and cauda equina syndrome. Now, if you're looking for a way to treat sciatica without risky back surgery, without painful injections, or without addicting painkillers, head over to our website at sayonarasciatica.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.